Hey friends, it's Carrie here with eatingonadime.com and today I'm making crock pot poor man stew. It's a budget friendly version of traditional stew. You get all the flavors of stew in a much more affordable option. It's a good one friends, let's go. We're going to brown ground beef. I'm using a very lean ground beef, but you can also do ground turkey, ground chicken as well. You want to completely brown and drain off any of the fat. Then we're going to add it to our slow cooker. Today I'm just using a traditional slow cooker, a six quart one, but honestly this meal would probably fit in a four quart crock pot as well. Don't forget to like and leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. That way you don't miss any more of our family friendly recipes, friends. Now we're going to add some carrots. I am using whole carrots, but baby carrots will work great as well. I'm just peeling them and then we're going to cut them up into bite sized pieces. I am also going to go ahead and peel my potatoes. We're using russet potatoes before I cut the carrots and the potatoes. I like to go ahead and peel everything so that way it just saves time. I can clean up the mess from all the peels and it just makes cooking go a lot quicker. Today I'm using russet potatoes, but Yukon gold or even a red potato would be delicious in this. This is what's so great about this recipe. Make it just as we have listed on eatingonadime.com, but then you can make easy alternatives to make it your own. When I cut the carrots, I like to cut them lengthwise down the center of them and then cut them lengthwise again and then I chop them into one inch pieces. However, you can just do rings if you'd like to as well. This is just personal preference. I like when I'm making a stew to make sure that it will fit on a spoon. I think that's really important because you don't make them so big they won't fit on a spoon. You want to be able to get lots of pieces of vegetable on one spoon so you can enjoy all the flavors combined in this easy stew. But remember, if you're feeling really lazy, you can always buy frozen carrots um, and pre-chopped carrots that you'll find in the local grocery store as well. When cutting potatoes for stew, I like to cut them in half lengthwise and then in half lengthwise again, just like I did the carrots, and then chop them into bite-sized pieces. Again, I'm wanting them small enough to fit on a spoon. If you would like to use baby potatoes, they're very small, so all you'd have to do is quarter them. You also can leave the peel on if you prefer that as well, but for my picky eaters, we definitely wanted to peel these first. And now we're going to cut up a white onion. Today I'm using a white onion, but you can use a yellow onion or a red onion. We're just going to peel the onion and we're going to cut it into chunks. Again, we want them to be able to fit on a spoon, but I do like my onions to be a little bit bigger in a stew than just like dicing it up. So we're gonna cut it in half, then cut it in half lengthwise, and then I'm going to cut it into three pieces. Loosely separate it, but don't worry, you don't have to be perfect. The crock pot will do all the work for you and dump it into the crock pot. Now it's time to add all the easy stuff. No more chopping required. We're going to do a can of diced tomatoes, about 14 ounces, Italian seasoning. We have salt and pepper, onion powder and then mince garlic. And then we're going to top it off with some beef broth. Now, I am just using regular beef broth, about two cups. If you wanna save some money, you could do half water or all water, or you could do like a beef bouillon. Mix to combine, and then we're going to pour it into the crock pot. Now, if you're gonna be super lazy, don't even mix it up and just dump it in that crock pot and stir to combine inside the crock pot. This recipe is 100% foolproof. Anyone can make it. Cover and cook on low for six to eight hours. It smells amazing. Okay, let me get you a spoon. We gotta taste this out. 
This recipe is so simple, friends. You can make it just as is, or you can add other vegetables to it and make it completely your own. You can add green beans would be delicious. Peas would be also great. Those are kind of the traditional vegetables that you add, that you could add to this stew. Let's try a bite. Mm. Woo, it's hot, it's delicious. Mmm. It's good. It's good. You can get the full recipe at eatingonadime.com or you can get the link in the description below. Go make some poor man stew in your crock pot today. I'll see you next time in my kitchen. Bye, friends.